Okay, today we're playing Nine Parchments on the Nintendo Switch. It's uh, currently out as a demo, so it's in the eShop if you want to play along yourself. We'll find the parchments together. Greetings. We'll find the parchments together. So in the demo, there's two playable characters, Cornelius. Greetings. And I think that's Jizlan. Who knows? We'll find the parchments together. So in this playthrough, we're going to play as Cornelius. There's a few options later on for different equipment, but we haven't got those so far, so at the moment it's just basic equipment. Once again, our story began at the Astral Academy, where young wizards from all over the world gathered to learn magic. Students at the Academy were learning their basic spells under the guidance of the great wizards. They were to completely master their old spells before earning new ones for their spell books. It was time for yet another spell test. Okay, so you use the left stick to look around. B is jump. Y is this kind of teleport ability. Right stick is change facing. And if you walk over to these shining things, these are kind of little tutorial like areas and above the character green is obviously your health the blue is the mana for your spell and then kind of like that little pink bar to the right is your teleport ability so once it's recharged you can do that and then shoulder buttons are change spells so we've got with Cornelius a ice beam a fireball and kind of like a death grenade like area effect thing so when you change your facing you can shoot so like a twin stick shooter so be pretty accurate with that so let's just run through this little tutorial area oh yeah you can also in the top left corner kind of change your how you feel I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but there we go, we'll just trash this room a little bit. Did we complete the test? You are all disqualified for advanced studies until further notice. Now, you must stay here and practice. For how long? Forever, if you must. You will practice until your magic is safe. Until I'm convinced you're not all walking magical hazards just waiting to explode. That's probably nothing. So the Astral Academy's mystical spell parchments were scattered into the faraway corners of the world. In all this chaos, however, the clever young students saw an opportunity for some illicit hands-on studying. All they had to do was to go out and collect spells until they had all their nine parchments. Okay, so at the end of the level you get like a little kind of recap. I'm really into this kind of comic book style art. It's it kind of fits with the game. I really, I really like it. It's nice stylized. Oh, what was I thinking? Leaving the academy in secrecy like this? Just to complete my spell book? They might expel me for skipping too many classes. Okay, so some of the enemies have like these little shields. So you have to use a, a different colour to kind of get past it. And then you can kind of just attack them as normal. And then sometimes they drop these little things, so green is health, blue is mana for your kind of ice beam, and then red is obviously fire, and then each colour kind of denotes its own magic style.
think the, the graphics are very nice, like very like vibrant. Oh, this is a quill. These are kind of collectibles in the game. Yeah, I really enjoyed the vibrant kind of uh, graphic style. It's just like nice, bright, crisp. It's kind of nice for like a, a kind of, you know, a game on the Switch not to have that kind of 16-bit, 8-bit kind of pixel graphics for once. I mean, that's a, that's a really nice style, but when pretty much everything on the, uh, on the store has that kind of same art style, it gets a little bit kind of repetitive. Like, these kind of little rock textures here look pretty nice. The pink trees, the green. It's all, it's all very attractive. Like I feel like they put a, quite a bit of effort into this. Into making it look just that little bit extra. I really just like how powerful this broom is. Compared to everything else, it actually kicks ass quite well, considering it's a broom. I mean, I can't imagine how many kind of like wild boar things you would uh, kill with a broom. Like in reality, but you know, we are playing a computer game, so we'll just suspend belief there a little while. Just while we kind of kill a few things with a broom. I've just ran into the fire trail. That's maybe not the smartest of things to do. Cross this little tiki bridge. They really like to mix it up with the kind of blue enemies and then the uh, the red enemies. So you're always switching between the spells like quite quite a lot on the fly. Spells on myself to stay cool. Another little quill there. Okay, I quite, I quite struggle with this grenade thing because you kind of throw it miles. So you kind of really have to know where enemies are going to kind of pop up, really. Otherwise, it's kind of impossible to use the bloody thing. Oh, and then we die. This is our last chance. I'll save us. Oh, just running around it. Beating it with the broom. There we go. Lucky that health was uh, just sitting there. grenades around and hopefully just uh, get someone with them.
Oh, it does take a while to reload or recharge. I think this guy, every time he does that thing with his staff, he kind of buffs the other guys there. You get this like, little red glow and kind of run at you, so I'm going to try and finish him off first. Firing wizard found himself stop. And there you go, dead. Alright, let's run into this little cave. That's how you kill them. Just absolutely annihilate them with uh, fireballs straight away. Okay, so now they're starting to use the beams on us, which is pretty dangerous. So what can happen is if uh, multiple beams touch each other at the same time, they can like deflect. And also if like an ally's beam hits yours, then it kind of crosses the streams like uh, like a Ghostbusters, and it gets like a super powerful beam, and then yeah, if, if that's hitting you, you're kind of getting in trouble. But if you're playing kind of co-op and you hit the enemy with that, then obviously it's going to really kind of ruin their day as well. Judged that and kind of went straight into the uh, the trail. It's quite useful once you've knocked their shields off with the fireball, then you can kind of just use any old weapon on again, like on them. And it should like mess them up. Oh, another little quill. Okay. Nice, level four. So total kills 36, one death. Teamwork, loner. Yeah, that sounds about right. One of the elusive parchments was surely near now, but little did anyone know what was lurking ahead. Nice. The breathtaking seaside vista was not the only thing to give pause to anyone admiring the horizon. A beast of some terrifying sort had also taken a liking to the missing parchment. And we're about to fight it, obviously. Oh, it's purple, so I don't know if that actually... Oh yeah, it's doing damage to it. So I think this boss's whole thing is kind of like... Taking away, like, areas. And I've pretty much run, run out of like real estate straight away. Okay, so the fire kind of does get rid of the snot stuff. Like I'm in quite poor health. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive this.
Oh, that's me dead. Oh, this is our last chance. I'll save us. I've regenerated. Ow. Let's see if I can uh, finish this guy off. He's almost down. He's almost down. Let's see if we can do it, guys. Oh, we're running out of space here, though. Oh, we've done him. <laughs> He's that little crown. Is he like a King Mantis kind of thing? Yeah, I guess. I guess this is all his uh, gold and stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh, we'll see 50 experience points. I mean, that would be pretty useful if this wasn't a demo. I guess this is the end. Favourite spell, Fireball. Nice. And there we go. That was the first level, maybe? Who knows? I don't know if that I'm assuming that'll be the first level. But that was Nine Parchments on a Nintendo Switch. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a, had a lot of fun playing it. Some good mechanics in there. I think uh, with the with extra people with the co-op, I think that could be pushed to even like even more. And yeah, it was fun. If you like this video, please uh, please like it, and then also please subscribe if uh, if you want to see more. Okay, let me know in the comments if you if you've played this or if you're thinking about gonna like maybe purchase it when it comes out. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Bye.